Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to see that how some apps have this alert dialog in their application, which appears when you are on payment screen or about to leave the app. This thing in know as pop scope in Flutter, and in this video we are going to see that how to implement this in our Flutter app so let's start the video, so here I've an empty project in which I've an empty material app now for implementing the pop scope in Flutter, come into this material app widget, and here first define the initial route of your application. Basically initial route means the home of your screen, like the dashboard page on any e-commerce app. Then after this initial route we need to create the other routes of our application, in our case we are only going to have two pages so I'll create my all routes here, but if you have routes more than four or let's say five, then it's better to create a separate class only for routes. So now after adding the routes parameter, here add the string and widget builder type for this routes map, then come inside this map and here create the route for your first page. For the simplicity of this video I'm calling this path as page 1, then here add the build context then call your screen widget, I'm calling page 1, and don't worry we will create these classes in a minute, then just copy this line and add it one more time for page 2. Now come out of this class and then create a stateful widget as page 1, and then do the same for the page 2, but still we are having some errors, so let's quickly fix them, so here I've missed the colon sign so please add that, now the error thing is resolved. Now come inside this page 1 class, and from here remove this empty placeholder thing from here, and here add the scaffold widget and add the center widget as the body, then here add the column widget then come inside this children thing, and here add a text widget, and add the page 1 string and the style for this text widget, then below this create a text button which will help in to navigate to the page 2, so here add the text widget as the child. Then come inside this on pressed method, now if you are following my previous videos then, you know that to navigate to the next page, we were using material page route. But in this video we are not going to write that much of code because we have already declared our routes, so now to go to the next page we just need to add navigator dot of context, then push named, and we need to write the path name here, so here we are going to page 2 so just add that, now come above here and here also add a slash at the starting of the path, and change the initial page route to page 1 from home. Now save the code, and app is started but nothing is visible, so for fixing this here add the main axis alignment as center to this column widget. Then again save the code and it is perfect, now tap on this next page button and we are successfully navigated to next page. Now come to the page 2 class and from here remove this empty placeholder widget, and as like page 1 here add the scaffold, then the center widget, and then a column widget which will have main axis alignment as center, then from page 1 copy that text widget, and paste it here, and change the string to page 2 from page 1, now it is looking fine for me. Now here add the pop scope widget, so this is the custom widget that is designed to handle the popping of the navigation stack, now come inside this and here add the can pop parameter, and set its value to false. So this can pop parameter determines whether the current screen can be popped or not, and we are setting it to false which means that screen cannot be popped without additional conditions. Then after words here add on pop invoked function, so this is a callback function that invoked when a pop action is attempted, like when user wants to close this screen by pressing back button. This takes a boolean parameter did pop, which indicates whether the pop action was successful or not. Then inside it here add a condition that if did pop is true then, function returns immediately, not executing the rest of the code. Then come outside of this if condition and here add here create a boolean variable as should pop, then its value will depends on a new future function, which we will create in a minute, basically this show back dialog function, shows a dialog to the user asking for confirmation to leave the current screen. And here we have added a wait because the execution of the current function is paused until show back dialog function completes. And if user nothing selects from the above dialog in that case we will receive a null. So here add a null checker and if value is null then assign the false here. Now here add one more condition that if the context of the current widget is still valid, and the user has confirmed to leave the screen, then current screen is popped from the navigation stack, navigating back to the previous screen. So yeah this was it for this widget, 
then here add the child widget as text button, we will use this button to go back to page 1, then come inside this on pressed method, and here just copy paste the above should pop and that if condition, now let's create this show back dialog function, now first here add the future and its return type which is nullable boolean, then from here return show dialog, which requires two parameter, we using stateful widget so the context is already provided, then. For builder add the build context, then come inside this builder function, and from here return a alert dialog, then here add the title text, then add the content of your dialog to warn the user that all the data will be lost if you leave this screen, you can show any warning as per your app's requirements, then here add the actions, this is basically the buttons of your dialog, so first here add the text button and then come inside this on pressed method, and here add the navigator to pop, then inside it add context and false, so in this callback we have added false. Which means, it will close the dialog off the navigation stack and returns false. This indicate that the user has chosen not to leave the page. Then add the child text widget, which show the user to stay on page thing, then copy paste the above text button, and come inside this callback and here add the true, which means user want to leave the page, then here change the string to leave. And we have one error to scroll to that error and I don't know how this future thing is placed here, so just remove this, and save the code, now go to page 2, and now tap on this go back button, then the dialog is appeared, now press on this never mind button. The dialog is closed and then user is on page 2, this is working fine, now again tap on this go back button, and now this time tap on this leave option and the dialog is closed and the user is moved to page. So yeah up until now everything is working fine. And now you can also add an app bar on page 2, and now press on the back button of this app bar and the pop scope thing is working absolutely fine for our application. So yeah that was it for this video, and if you start liking my content then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this awesome channel know as Widget Wisdom.